honestly, coffee shops are the best place to work. Um, for the past two to three years, I've been religiously working out of coffee shops, especially Costa Coffee, okay? And in this video, I just wanna talk about how it's affected my side hustle journey and how you can incorporate into what you're doing real quick as well. So obviously, number one, coffee, right? Coffee shops have coffee. Coffee stimulate the brain, it gets you going and it gives you more energy. I, felt, I first found uh, coffee, uh, coffee about 2013, so I was going to the gym and I was looking for a pre-workout and I spoke to my wife's cousin Tina and she, I was like, look, I'm looking for a pre, because she's a personal trainer, I said, I'm looking for a pre-workout, can you recommend any? And she said, you don't need pre-workout, all you need is, you actually only need, um, you need coffee, like don't waste your money on pre-workouts, just get a good coffee. It's like coffee, cool. Went to the shop supermarket, found a three pound coffee and then from there I started taking it and from there I've been cool, I didn't need um, pre-workout and it was gave me the energy to go to the gym and do a really good workout. So that's how I fell in love with coffee and then after that I started working in a state agency where every morning religiously we had coffee. We was using coffee, you know, people have coffee for lunch, coffee for dinner. So it really increased my productivity and that's how I ended up finding coffee to, to um, stimulate. So obviously working at Costa Coffee, like, you know, it's, it's such a, it's a really good place to just get work done. Number two is why it's so effective is you're surrounded by like-minded people. Like everyone's busting out their laptops in, in Costa Coffee, do you know what I'm saying? They're working they're hustling and um, they're getting stuff done so it's a case of just you know you don't it, it doesn't even have to be a big deal you know you just find your corner and you just you just get to work do you get what i'm saying you just get to work and you keep it moving like that and it's there's a there's a harvard study that says um about what the workplace and when you're sitting next to certain people at work it increases productivity okay it increases productivity and that's how i feel in costa coffee like right now i'm sitting across from a guy and a, and a woman and they have both got their headphones on they're both working and it puts you in that environment because like when, when you're an internet marketer like in life can be quite like for me life can be quite lonely like it's you work tend to be working by yourself from home quite a lot right and when you work from home there's no human beings at home everyone's off at work or at school so i'm by myself so it's nice to come and be around other humans, hear interactions, hear conversations, you know, and just kind of take it all in and be in that environment where people are either working or socialising. Because like at the end of the day, those are the two key things when it comes to um, advancing and progressing. It's communication and, and it's work. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's, it's to be able to be good at work and communication, that's going to drive you forward. So... And um, that's number two. And just before I go into step three, interesting. One time I went, went to, um, you know, I went to, to Central London, King's Cross. I had a meeting. And before the meeting, I stopped at a coffee shop. And I was in the coffee shop and I was sitting down. And next to me, there was a guy. And I was there for probably about four hours. And the guy next to me, he had meetings all day long. So people were coming into the coffee shop, having a meeting. And then they'll leave and then they'll come in. And they were all day long, all day long. And then it turns out, once my partner actually got to the coffee shop he goes do you know who that is sitting behind us i said no he goes that's andros townsend's manager and if you if you watch football um if you watch football andros townsend is a football player that plays for crystal palace and now he plays for uh, i think not 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 county or um one of them teams but he, he's actually a high profile football player it, it was actually his dad it was actually his dad who does a lot of charity work and stuff. It wasn't his manager, it was his dad. So he was sitting beside me. So I got, and these guys are worth millions and millions. So the whole day I got to experience conversations, energy and vibe from whatever that person was doing. And that's the beauty of um, coffee shops. You get to run into people that you wouldn't ordinarily run into, ordinarily run into without it being awkward. Like you could be sitting next to a multi-millionaire in a coffee shop and where else would you get the opportunity to sit next to someone like that do you get what i'm saying without it being awkward if you you know if you went to their workplace and tried to sit next to them that would be awkward because they'd be like why are you sitting there but you're in, you know no one's going to ask questions as to why you're sitting here why you're listening to my conversations because you're in a coffee shop you, when you work in a coffee shop you give away that right right so that's a nice little um thing surrounding yourself like like-minded people and number three is for me 
it's the ambience. It's the ambience. It's the soft music in the background. It's the smell of coffee. It's just the the the, the, the chillness of, of coffee shops, right? Um, and there's a study. Um, the brain multitasks and takes in more information, right? Multiple information at once. And it, distra- it distracts you. For me, hearing the music in the back and conversations in the back, the ambient sound, it really distracts me. So when I'm typing or I'm working and if my brain comes across a challenge and I just stop and I take in the background and I take in a conversation around me or whatever, it distracts my mind and then new ideas come. It's a bit like, have you ever been, someone's asked you a question and you're trying to think of the name or the pl- place of a place and you're like, I can't remember where it is. And then you say to yourself, it will come to me later. And then two, two minutes later you go, oh, I remember it now. It's because you've taken your brain off of the subject and you've handed it over to your subconscious and your subconscious has got all of the information stored, right? So it just gives it to you. When you try to think from the conscious brain, there's not a lot there because the conscious brain only makes up a, a few percentage of actual, actual your whole mind. The subconscious is like 80% of, of the product. So when you hand it over to your subconscious, your subconscious will find the information. It's like a filing cabinet. It will find the information and throw it over to your conscious and it will come to you. Literally, just yesterday, um, my wife was asking me, what's the name of that film that we watched that time we went to the cinema? I was like, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember, and then I was like, oh, I don't know, I can't remember. And as soon as I said I don't know, it will come to me later. It came to me, like, instantly, instantly. Like, it was a Jurassic Park, one of the new ones. So, when you're in the multitasking world of coffee shops, you allow your brain to take breaks and just phase out into the ambience, and then things will come to you. Um, so, it's a good little, it's a good energy. O- overall, if you're a side hustler, internet marketer, entrepreneur, on the come up, coffee shops are going to be your best friend coffee shops are the best place to work like i said the caffeine alone being surrounded by caffeine drink your caffeine i highly recommend a double espresso shot that's all you need a double espresso shot is what i get i live by and i'm good um surrounding yourself with like-minded people that are working that are hustling that are constantly progressing is going to do you wonders and number three is the ambience i love the smell i love the sounds i love the quietness the chill the relax it really allows you to get the creative juices flowing and the buzz to go in so definitely get yourself down to your local coffee shop make it your place to work make it your your new work workplace um and, and watch the results start to kick in real quick um, it's your boy Hustle From Home, Dad teaching that's how to hustle from home so that you can spend less time with your boss and more time with your wife and kids. Um, click the link in my description box to sign up for my one-on-one mentorship. Um, I'm giving away a free mentorship in half an hour. If you've got any questions or concerns on any videos or any coaching or anything you need from me, I'm now offering that as a service. So book a call, 30 minutes. The first one is free. And let's speak. Let's have a chat. Take care. Peace.